I think Northern Ireland's a very special place and the food is amazing. There is such a will and a drive to take the food here on to make it, you know, a real first rate place to come, a real gastronomic destination. And it's interesting because, it, I mean, two years ago, I hadn't, I wasn't aware of ever having tried any Northern Irish food. And then someone handed me this little, little square of cured pork and gave it to me to taste. And I took it and I ate it and it was just amazing, kind of sticky and crisp on the outside. It had been fried and then kind of all moist and juicy on the inside with this amazing kind of cured flavour, the herbs and the spices coming through. And I was like, oh, what is this stuff? And someone said to me, well, it's Guanciale. And I thought, oh, Guanciale, OK, it's, it's Italian. That's fine. The Italians, they know how to do this sort of thing. But even by their standards, this is pretty amazing. And they said, no, this is for Northern Ireland. Wow. This is made by a guy called Peter Hannon in Northern Ireland. And I was like what? So I had to find out more across I came and just discovered this amazing kind of wonderful kind of secret place. You know, it's a little bit, for me coming over, it's a little bit, you know, like when you go on holiday and you discover that perfect restaurant and you go back, the one that nobody has ever written about before, put in a guidebook and thing, and you have to go back and tell everyone about this fantastic place where the food was just brilliant and the service was amazing and the welcome was just so warm. That's how it was for me, coming wow. to Northern Ireland. And it's, you know, I just get off the plane now and I smile and yeah. I feel hungry. So since trying that one little piece of pork, that I, one little piece of favourite pork, you've discovered a whole range of many of your favourite types of food. It's got a lot on. to answer for, yeah. that little piece of pork. <laughs>